Let's review what we've gone over. The evidence is convincing that red meat causes colon cancer. Bench research supports that toxins created by cooking meat cause cancer. If you're worried about colon cancer, and all of us should be concerned since it's the most common cause of cancer death in the U.S. in non-smokers, then meat should be avoided. Verdict, meat causes colon cancer. Red meat is also causes breast cancer, likely, especially in premenopausal women. This might be due to the impact on IGF-1. If you're concerned about your risk for breast cancer, then red meat is bad for you, probably. There is also evidence suggesting several other cancers may be caused by red meat, although the evidence is not as strong. Verdict? Probably bad. Red meat likely causes heart disease too, although the effect is not as strong and more research is needed. We don't fully understand why red meat increases cardiovascular disease, but regardless, the verdict is probably bad. Overall, there is no substantial evidence that red meat is a healthy dietary choice. Overall verdict, red meat is bad for us. So if you're on the caveman diet, the paleo diet, Atkins or a similar diet, and you're eating a lot of red meat because you think it's healthy, then you're doing it wrong. I understand we've got to live. We all eat some foods that are not healthy because we enjoy them. So how much meat can I eat before it impacts me? Well, we know that even the smallest amount of meat that has been studied, 50 grams, is associated with an increased risk of colon cancer. That's less than half of a hamburger. And we know that people that eat meat just once per week are about 40% more likely to develop colon cancer. And the more you eat above that, the greater the risk. So, unfortunately, the answer is not much. If you eat meat, you should do so in moderation. And not all meats are equal. Processed meats, such as cold cuts, lunch meat, ham, carry a higher risk. And seared processed meats, such as bacon and sausage, have a higher risk still. Bacon may have a relative risk of about 1.8. In other words, bacon eaters are 80% more likely to get colon cancer. Bacon may be one of the overall deadliest foods that we eat. And the more meat you eat on top of that, the greater your risk. Of the unprocessed meats, lamb seems to carry a significant risk as do other meats that are cooked at high temperature like hamburger and steak. Next come other pork products, then meats cooked at lower temperatures which have lower risk. Here I'm showing the meats ranked by their relative risk. A study has not yet been done to rate the risk across all diseases studied for each food, so I'm clumping them into groups. I have made my best estimate to pool the studies on colon cancer, breast cancer, and heart disease together to arrange the list in this order. And I prefer to arrange them from unhealthiest on the bottom because as we move forward with this lecture series, I'm going to rank foods on a scale from unhealthy to healthy. All foods that fall below this line are bad for you. In summary, red meat consumption is unhealthy, especially processed red meats and seared meats.